you're watching our um shellac barn tour so welcome to serenity farms here we offer boarding lessons training and much more um right now we're outside the front entrance to the farm if you go to the right is where we keep our truck and trailer um the trailer is not for here right now but that's okay um right here we have another one of our signs that just said serenity farms um when you go to the left you're gonna have our two um larger blocks of stalls so there's eight total and in this first stall is mistletoe. Here we have um, our unnamed Appaloosa mare, and then over here is eagle. The rest of the horses are out, um, so you'll see them later. In this first cube is where we keep our um, eight-month-old yearlings that were just weaned, so they just kind of go out there. That's only during the day. At night, when the fields are cleared, they go out in the other pastures. Um, right here is where we keep our chickens. So you can see we have a hen back there, a rooster, hen and her chicks. Uh, and here's where we keep all our rabbits. There's a lot of rabbits in here. There's also a squirrel. Um, they both have coops. And the gates in front. Um, here's where we keep our more exotic birds. So we have some swans in the back as well as some ducks. And then the last is where we keep our fellabellas. So we have the mare, the foal, and um, a gelding. And their names are Olive, the foal's heart, and the other's poncho. So, yeah. If you go behind the block of stalls, this is our um, feed room. So it's a little dark in here, so I have a flashlight just to make sure you guys can see. Um, to the left is where we have our supplements and buckets hanging. In the middle is the actual feed tubs, like the tubs, and then the sides where we have the bags. Coming to the right, um, again it's dark just because of the angle, and it's a little bit gloomy outside. This is the side view of our gelding pasture. So this is um, desert, and that's driftwood, and they're just the only two out right now. The rest are they're being worked or I don't know. It's our mare in full barn, as well as we have a two-year-old in training in here. So to the right, we have Eve and her full raven, Gypsy and her full bandana. In the back, we have Magic and her full Jeffrey, and this is the two-year-old in training, and this is Pumpernickel. Um, there are Shire Pear, Gypsy Banners, and the Frisians. This is our St. Bernard named Bernard. And upstairs is actually vacant right now. We just have a couple of things up here. Um, we haven't decided what we want to turn it into, so if you have any ideas, just comment below. We have a few saddle racks up here in the bench. Um, and the dogs are Jake and Lily. To the right of our red barn is our livestock pasture. Um, in here we have several different kinds. So this is the little barn right here, and it opens up on um, a bunch of the sides. Inside right now we have one of the goats and her babies, some sheep, donkeys, pigs, more goats, and some cows, and it's a really big field. Yeah. Um, to the right of it is our mare field, and this is most of the horses, most of the mares are out, I believe, yeah. So right up here, this is Frank a lot, Angel, um, Fiona, that's Petal, and this is Bubbles, and um, I'm not, they all have show names, and they all, obviously all have breeds, but they all have show names, and I'm not going to say them all because I'd be here forever. So yeah. And that's where their hay goes, and that's where their water goes, but we have to restock on hay. I don't feel like pouring it. Um, right here is probably the biggest part of our barn tour. This is our washing grooming stall, so we have three different sections. Each section has a grooming kit and a bucket with a sponge inside, and several um, hanging ties as well as beams in the middle to loop lead ropes over. In the back we have our green machine. This is the hose, one of the hanging ties. Um, the hose plugs into one of those holes on any of the boards. It can be used. So right here we have Annie and her lease horse, um, Penny, and they're getting tacked up. And then we have Pepper and one of the school horses, Charlie, and they're getting tacked up, and so they're just looped the reins over. Okay, um, to the like, if, um, in front of the wash stall is where we have our, um, eight stall barn. In the first stall, on the gelding side, this is Skittles, and then these two horses are out, and that's, um, Flipper. On the mare side, we have Belle and Katie in. She's out, and then this is, um, Taylor. And so these all have stall guards that hook on and off. Just like that. And when they're out of the stalls, we usually just loop them so they're not hanging. And the bedding we use here is shredded newspaper. It's easy. Kind of get it, you know. 
chilling. And then next to the eight stall barn is the school horse tack room. And this is bright white and I did that on purpose to make it really light inside so you can see. On the left is where we have our hooks. We have a full halter. Um, this is where we keep our accessories, so like yokes and martingales. English bridles, this is where western bridles go with three being used. And all the lead halters go there. On top we have some miscellaneous things like an extra lead rope. Um, some scissors, tack cleaner, and a clipboard. There's where we hang the bareback pads. And this is the shelf. On top we keep coolers and shipping boots, as well as the salt lick. Bottom we keep a basket for chicken eggs and saddle pads. And the very, very bottom is where we keep extra um, grooming supplies and a saddle stand to pull out when we want to clean them. Over here on the top row is our western saddles, and on the bottom row um, is our English saddles. And then up here is where we keep extra bottles of soap and um, things like SWAT. In front is where we keep um, our extra jumps that aren't being used, and the ring is actually what I'm sitting in. So in the ring now we have um, Clara, and she's a trick rider, and she's riding our new app gelding that we just bought. So she's just kind of chilling out here, you know. This is um, Casey, and she's riding her least pony popcorn. This is Jake, and he's riding his horse Zeke. And this is um, Cassidy, and she's riding her horse, or least horse. Um, I don't remember his horse's name. This is awkward. Whatever. And then right now we just have um, a combination set up. Usually we have more, but they're all right. They're all over here. Okay, and then right next to the board attack room is where we keep um, a block of three stalls. Um, these horses usually don't get along very well with the other ones, so they kind of go here with these nice big dividers between them, so they can still sniff, but they can't, like, hit each other. Well, they can, but, you know, like, they're not going to reach across the aisle and, like, bite someone. Um, so this is a new guy, and he doesn't have a name yet either. We have three horses that are unnamed. Um, the app gelding, the app bear, and this guy. So if you would comment some names below, that'd be cool, because I need some I'm running out of once I have so many horses here. Oh, and that little Icelandic thing, I just remembered her name is Lucy. <laughs> Oops. Um, in the middle is Hyena, um, and he's a really cool horse. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. And then this is Tommy. And then in front we have another brush set. Right here's our round pen. So the trainer and owner of the farm, this is Tracy, and then her two brothers. Um, this is our new Hanoverian mare that we just got. And oh my gosh, she doesn't have a name either. So if you want to name her, comment below too. You got like three horses you can name. Um, so she's just in the round pen. That we just literally like just brought her here. So they're just seeing what she's like. Um, in this little barn is where we keep our um, cleaning supplies. Oh, and they all fell over. Okay, well that's awkward. And then here is where we keep like extra helmets and stuff, but they're not in there right now. And this is the border barn and tack room that's connected. Um, this side belongs to that man that was riding the um, paint in the middle of the ring. He owns three horses and boards them here. This first horse is Taco. He's our Palomino. And he does, like, Western pleasure. This is where Zeke the paint goes. And this is his third horse, um, Inkheart. And she does games, like barrels, um, like speed games, basically. And on this side, we don't have any more borders, so our students that lease horses are allowed to use these stalls. So in the first one is where that gray Libazana mare goes. The second is where the um, Palomino Icelandic thing. I think, yeah, right, is it Icelandic? Yeah, it's an Icelandic. And then the third one is where that um, Shetland mare goes. And this is Paul, and he's just making up the stalls for us. And then to the right is the attached tack room, um, so they can store their stuff. To the left is where they keep their bridles, extra um, like miscellaneous things that were found when the ground go up top. Some extra saddle pads are supplied for them. If they need them, their blankets, those horses are being used right now, so their blankets are just there. Um, like an extra, you know, shelf. And that's where they keep their saddles. Um, this is the one girl's tack trunk, another, and a third. And I could do tutorials and basically anything because I really make a lot of my stuff because it's a lot better than trying to buy everything. So if you want to tutorial anything, you can always tell me. And then right here is the just a little rail to keep um, this trainer safe, so she usually sits in there and teaches. And that's the Lucy Icelandic pony that I remember now. And this is the backside of the purple building you walked into. And it's not really much now just because I haven't really designed or like figured out what I wanted to do with it. When you walk in, there's a nice rug on the ground, a little chair, the dog's area, um, a blanket upstairs, mm -hmm. the fishing equipment, um, uh, the trophy room, like where we keep all our ribbons, blanking out, and then the office chair. And then to the right is, um, 
Hernandez, and he's um, going to drive our Gypsy Vander Stallion. So he's hooking him up, and that's where the cart is, next to the quad. So that's the tour of um, uh, Serenity Farms. So I'll give you another overview now that you know like where everything is. Sorry, I'm shaking. A lot of horses fell over, so I'm trying to discreetly pick it back up, but it didn't work. So this purple thing is where you first come in. Then we have the blocks of stalls, the feed room in the back, the pasture, the mare and full barn, the ring, livestock, another pasture, the grooming stalls, the school horse area, round pen, and then the border tack room. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment um, and subscribe. And if you want to name any either of the apps or that Hanbury mare or that school horse over there too. Oh my god, four horses. Um, that'd be really cool. So comment below. Thanks.